So what's the best way to apply these? Do you do them just like you would with an eyebrow brush? Is that, I mean, is that the... You can use them with just normal, but we've also got our own brushes in the collection. So the palette pastels, there's four different ways you can apply them. So I'm going to... Um, I'll put them on here, I think. So uh, you can use your fingers. So you get a you know, soft mm -hmm. sort of effect with that. Or you can use the batten blenders which are part of the set, so they come in a little okay. container like this. They look like an eyeshadow applicator, they're a little bit different because they're for uh, art. Um, so I'll use this, do the same colour just so you can see yeah, it's a different a effect. Yep. And, oh it's going to be a purple like there. And did I use this colour as well? And the reason they're called batten um, blenders is or baton is because I imagine like a little majorette. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. so that is those with these. Then you can also apply it with the little blend in. So these are sponges that look like, you know, makeup sponges, but they're all different densities. This one's a tub, softer, softer, different shapes, so you can get different. Uh, shapes of the pastel, but this has a different effect again. It's a bit softer. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you could use this not just like for mixed media and what I'm doing, but you could add a nice soft colour, you know, with yeah. whatever creative project you're working on. So that adds a nice soft colour. Um, that's dry enough, so I can add a little bit of um, skin colour on here. This is where I just see how it just tints the, yeah. uh, the soft. How do they react when they get wet? Do they stay as they are or do they run it off? Uh, because they are pastels so yeah. they will um, they might stay with it depends on the paper that okay. they're on but typically you don't wet pastels yeah um, because it's, it's it's a so if you're doing a mixed powder. media to make it your last step don't get anything yeah, wet on it if you don't want do it, it to change if you don't want it to change yeah yeah because yeah. um, yeah, then you would hide it anyway sure. so then you the, the brush you've got uh, I'm going to add another little, you know, blush of colour. This is the softest way. That's cool. I like that. And then I can also add a nice little soft uh, bit of cheek. So this is the softest way of adding colour. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But it's just like applying makeup. It's just so fun. Look how pretty that is. Oh my god. Like, wow. I'll put a bit of purple in there as well. No, no. I love your husband. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> the best. And I don't just say that to any man who brings me <laughs> <laughs> And then on here I've actually got some of the false eyelashes, which are part of the um, journal tattoos. Oh, there are the new kind of journal It's a little set of um, transfers, and it says eyelashes and crowns oh, and all cool. sorts of things. And then these are based on the liquid eyeliners. So there's so many parts to this collection, it's so fun. So I'm just going to give her some flowing hair. And because this is um, a brush tip, it will go over all of your other different mixed media. So I'm going to put her on there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so these are the some of the um, journal tattoos. With the, yeah, so you can add rub on. So False eyelashes. Looking at yeah. yeah, that's a little face charts. We've also got a really beautiful catalogue that's got everything from this collection and the astrology collection as well. There's just so many pieces. Uh, so what I'm trying to do with all of these different things is just give people starting points so that they actually end up creating more and more and more. Which is what we want. Exactly. But also just that the practicing is fun in and of itself. Mm. And that's the that's the most creative part. So I'm just going to add some little uh, eye eyeshadows on here. What do you call them? Eyebrows. Oh my gosh! Use your words, Jane. So the artwork that's behind me, um, some of them are my journals, but some of them are also um, artwork from my Facebook group where I've got, oh, I think there's 25,000 people in there. 
and it's just everyone's just uploading all their artwork from all the different collections, all my different art supply collections, just so we can see all the different ways people uh, use all the different supplies. You know, we all have fun, and it's that love of art supplies that brings us together. Yeah, oh, it's been really nice. That's LTQ, then there's the ultimate pen, and then there are the new pens as well, the finishing line pens. So there is a... You can never have too many pens. There are, there are many pens. Many pens, including the new paint pens. So I've used the stencil underneath there so I can add a little bit of a highlight but I might change to the smaller one. So my favourite white pen was discontinued and rather than cry about it uh, we just went and created it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, make it. It's right. I was like, oh that's right, I'm an art supply designer. I can fix this. I'll just make it a little bit better than it was even before. So this is, um, that's Snow White, that's called, that's the Wonderland set, that's Evil Queen in the black. That's cool. Love it. Where are you guys from? Texas. Ah, oh, I love Texas. We're about in Texas. Uh, about two hours south of Dallas. We're just a little craft store. So. Cool. Have fun at the show. We've got, there's the catalogue in case you haven't got it, and we do have a discount if you order at the show. Of course, just so you know. Thank you. <laughs> Her little chin is very wonky. So those ones paint pens? Yeah. Are they paint? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. these are the new ones. Sorry, I was enjoying no, myself. No, no, it's all right. become uncommunicative. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the new, they're called the Storytime Paint Pens. So this is the Wonderland set. This is the Evil uh, Snow Queen set, so it's Evil Queen and Snow White. Yeah. And then we'll add other little themes um, as we go when we add new colourways. Uh, so these are... Yeah, they're just super opaque. My favourite white, I was the same before, my favourite white paint pen got discontinued and I was upset about that. But then I remembered I was actually an art supply designer and I could do something about that. So we developed my, it's just super opaque, which is, that's, and that's what, what I you love. want with a paint yeah. pen. That is what you want. That's what you want. So that is what we have now with these. Beautiful. I love them so much. And you get quite a distinct line with them. So I've got other supplies that are a softer line. Mm. I seem to have 10 coffees here. I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of eye colour. Just to get that variety. I might even add a little bit of blue on this. So what I've made this little journal out of is uh, one of the face charts. And then I've... Um, tape this together. So we did this in the workshop the other day and we videoed it. So we'll have that as a video. That will be on Spellbinders um, website, yeah. Oh. Uh, just to show, it's called a Japanese fold. It's a um, really fun um, way of making a journal it's without like, any it's binding. So I've just, there's, I've got lots of little books here just to show people and just yeah, to demonstrate. Cool. So we don't end up with a thousand uh, papers. Yeah, so they like makeup face charts when you go and have your makeup done. Mm. 
where, where is this? What's available at Michael's? You're saying? What's yes, so this okay. one's at the moment. It's, um, it's been a Michael's exclusive. That's why we've been able to do just such a massive. There's 44 oh, so different Michael. pieces. Hey, <laughs> and then, but it's available to buy at the show. So uh, it'll be coming out in May. And then that's what's available at the moment. This one is what's available um, in the next few months. Like the new paint colours. What's your, what was that white yeah. thing? I came up with the oh, tail Oh, this is the white, the white uh, paint. I was digging that. I was digging that. That's yeah. what it should be called. The, the white paint. So, so her name is Snow White. Oh, of And these are the story time paint pens. Um, and I'm just, um, put a little bit of the white oh, actually in here. Yeah. Just to make her eyes pop. Oh, so nice. Oh. And then I might add a little bit of fry. I love doing this, like all these little. Little darts, and I need to let them dry for a second. So that's what I love about art journey. You can just let something dry, pull down something else, start creating with that. So for her eyes, I think I might use uh, some of the palette pastel, sorry, some of the drama sticks. I have to remember, they're like the show ones. That's meant to stay pretty. That <laughs> side. And this is meant to be my messy side. So I'll put them over there. And then I've only got one of everything there, so it's not so... Uh, I don't have everything everywhere. So these are like the softest oil pastel you can imagine uh, in a pencil form, so it's just easier to control. And... Um, but they're very, they're very soft and squishy and smudgeable. So I've just put that little bit of colour down. So you barely have to touch the paper with these. What do they call? Drama sticks. So they come in these pink pens. Tins. Really soft. So the inspiration is, yeah, the inspiration is... Um, Sometimes can just be really... They come in that little chubby stick, don't they? And then they can just not be delicate. But that's really delicate. Um, and also, if in the stick they tend to break because they, if they're really high quality ones, yeah. they're soft like the Snellier, they, they break. But these ones, even if they, if you, if you press a bit hard, and if the um, tip did pop off, which you can do if you press a bit too hard, you just because they're so soft, you just either smudge that around or just stick it back on to the thing again. So it's very easy to use. Uh, I've already added a little bit of uh, colour on the cheeks, but I'm going to uh, add a little bit more. So I'm using Sunset Kiss and Super Kawaii to make them really Carrie Bradshaw pink. Uh, and I'm going to use a little bit more of my LTQ pen. just playing with things so for her lips I might add so that's the LTQ which is four-wheel drive it just goes over the top of everything I might give her um, this is the velvet pastels this is a color called monarch so they all have royal names so the palette pastels all live up here in the penthouse of the palette hotel and I'm going to give this a little just a little now I should clean my fingers off a little or I could use the batten blenders, but it's fun to use your fingers as well. And because I've got a little bit of the outline of the lips, but not all the way around, and then I just tap that on, it'll just keep it nice and soft so it looks more natural. And soft and pretty. This is um, the um, Korean way of doing lipstick watching a video on it um, the other day so you get it's like a little kiss it's like a little pop of color uh, so it's just becoming more and more popular uh, it's natural so you use several lip colors 
best to let it dry in between. But the velvet pastels for doing lips and just doing little marks and stuff in the background. Oh, <laughs> um, just so cute. How are you today? You were the cute one. <laughs> the cute one. You were the cute one. This morning. The cute one when? I was here. Permanently? Yes. In what context? Tell Maybe me more. Every, every, <laughs> your personality, <laughs> your beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Uh, so I'm, the, I'm just playing with my different uh, art supplies. This one's not fully charged yet. She's new. She's oh, new to the party. She's new. She's new.